Can you understand that okay? Yep. So here's the tire. But wait a minute. I'm going to move the tire. Now the tire's over here instead of here. Got it? Yep. So put the toe into the tire over here. Ah, oh, now you're hitting a golf shot. How many of those you want? <laughs> you greedy rascal, you. Isn't that fun? Yes. Yes. Now if that's still too far left for you, then move the tire a little bit more. Just a little bit. Half an inch. Not a meter. Atta boy. Beautiful. Don't worry. See, watch this. Everybody can hit the ground. Ah, you did it. First try. So all you do is hammer down. <laughs> that makes it simple, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now watch me. I'm going to hit a shot, please. Here's what I do personally. I don't care if I'm out playing when I've played tournaments and stuff or if I was practicing. I'm going to hit a Patrick shot. There's my practice swing for my next shot, and here's my next shot. I'm going to make the club hit the ground. I don't care where the ball goes. I'm going to tell my subconscious mind to hit the ground until it does it automatically. Otherwise, it's something you have to consciously do, and you'll fight it the rest of your life. But we've got to train the subconscious, and it's stubborn. It has a concept of what it wants to do, and the only way you're going to train it is to teach it what to do. And the way you teach it is you make an activity and say something. When we say something, our tongue, our, our vocal cords are hooked directly to our inner ear, which goes into our subconscious. That's the connection. We never, ever, ever, ever say what we don't want. We always say what we want. So I tell myself, hit the ground, dummy. I don't say dummy. Hit the ground. Hit the ground. Hit the ground. Pretty soon you walk up, you're just hitting the ground. You can't help it. You're just hitting the ground. And the ball's in the way because you're hitting the ground right where the ball is. Okay? I'm going to give you some golf balls. <laughs>